Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or in a cushion. Maybe it's lying down or another posture. In any case, position your body in a way that will feel comfortable. Allow yourself to settle into that comfort, to enjoy it. Give yourself the treat of being comfortable. From here, notice if there's any tension in your body. Take a look in your body and see if there's any muscular tension that's present for you right now. And if you find any, gently allow yourself to relax, to loosen that tension, to let go of that tightness. Allow your body to relax. Again, take a moment to enjoy this relaxation. Treat yourself to the pleasure of relaxation. Allow your body to be comfortable and relaxed. From here, if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. Knowing that by smiling, you're allowing your nervous system to move towards happiness. Let your body settle here for a moment, being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Very good. Now, take a moment to reflect on things in your life that you can feel grateful for. Things that invite and bring up a felt sense of gratitude. It could be anything at all, something big or something small, something very special to you right now, or completely ordinary. A 
I like to feel grateful for the food that I had to eat or for having a place to sleep or for the friends and family that I got to interact with. But you can choose whatever you like. Just reflect on things that you can feel grateful for, for a few moments. As you reflect on these things that you can feel grateful for, notice if there's any enjoyment in the body. If you can connect to that felt sense of gratitude. If it feels good in your body. And if it does, really savor that. Soak it up and really enjoy it. Enjoy the gratitude. It's as if someone has given you a bite of a delicious dessert. So really enjoy it. Very good. Now, consider someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love towards. You're an easy to love person or animal. In loving kindness practice, it's helpful to have someone that is easy for us to feel love towards. So if you already have that person, bring them up and cultivate a felt sense of love for them. If not, just choose someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love towards. And take this time to wish them well, to wish them happiness, ease, love, and care. You can do this in any way that you like, using mental talk, phrases in your mind like, I love you or I care about you, or images of this person or animal being happy, or any other method that you like. In any case, cultivate a sense of love and care for your easy to love person or animal.
continue to cultivate the sense of love for another moment. Very good. Now, we're gonna to transition to practicing the skill of congratulating others. Bring to mind someone in your life that's recently accomplished something. Maybe they graduated from school or got a new job learned a new hobby or skill, any kind of achievement or success or new development in their life. And if you can't think of someone like that, you can just imagine a friend perhaps getting a promotion or something like that. It doesn't really matter so much. We're just gonna practice the skill of congratulating others. But bring to mind someone that you can congratulate for something real or imaginary. Just briefly flash an image of them in your mind. See what they look like, visualize them perhaps in the context of this success or achievement that you'll be congratulating them for. And imagine what you'd say to this person, how you would congratulate them. And say that in your mind, really enthusiastically. Wow. You did such a great job. I'm so proud of you. Or any phrase that feels authentic for you in relation to this person and their accomplishment. Use mental talk, phrases in your mind to practice congratulating this person. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind. Saying something like this. Wow, great job. I'm so proud of you. Or whatever phrase you like. Just be sure that you can hear it in your mind. If you'd like, you can say the same phrase over and over again, 
or use many different phrases. Doesn't really matter so much. The main thing is to practice the skill of congratulating someone else. And again, as you do this, if there's any felt sense of happiness or pride in the body as you congratulate this person, notice that and really enjoy it. Allow yourself to feel that pride, feel that happiness as you congratulate this person. And if you'd like, you can switch to practicing with someone else or a series of people continuing to practice the skill of congratulating others, but working with many different people, congratulating many different people for many different things. Or you can stay with the same person. You get to decide. Simply cultivate the skill. Again, be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind. If you find that the phrases are faltering, you can switch to just using the same phrase over and over again. Something like, I'm so proud of you, or terrific job, whatever you like. Just continue to practice the skill of congratulating others.
Continue to practice the skill of congratulating others for another few moments. Very good. Now, 
Take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn anything new? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to consider and reflect. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 